Good afternoon friends, today I review Whipsy and the Lost Atlas on Nintendo Switch. Our good friends at Blowfish Studios were kind enough to send us a copy of Whipsy for review. This is a whimsical platformer made by Daniel A. Ramirez that is sure to catch your eye. Our little pawpaw friend can whip and sail in search of gems through the land of the Lost Atlas. Ever lean so far into a book you fall into it? No? Maybe that's just Whipsy. In this case, a child was transformed into a pink, whip-yielding puff that has set out on an adventure to return to form. The story was told in a few short pictures, then straight to the game, which is appreciated. We get that it's a platformer and we want to play the game right away. Two button controls are simple and easy to figure out from the start. Jump with A, then hold to float using the whip. Press B to use the whip action. Whipsy can jump on enemies to stun them before whipping into submission. The music is very matching to the tone of gameplay, which is colorful and airy most times, then frumpy during boss fights. Collectibles will produce a free guy at 100. Five hits will take you to the title screen. It's fun to pounce on enemies and make them fall into the abyss. Baddies differ in size and function, enough to keep it interesting. I appreciate the Mario spiny looking bad guys. As with a lot of smaller platformer titles, the boss battles are where the action is at. Scoop up as many gems and boost that life count before heading into battle. Precision and timing are key. Whipsy will test your patience in attacking the bosses. Take your time and their patterns will become easier to tackle. Once the win is secured, the boss will disappear in an instant. There is no upgrade to obtain or life boost, rather a trip back to the now progressed map screen. Although on the surface it looks like a full blown game, upon starting the first level it has a mobile vibe. The black oval shaped doors in Whipsy are seen in many phone games and that was a huge turn off. Navigate a small area to the next door and repeat. A mere 5 levels will have been completed in one sitting for some. From the look of the main character and the art style, I was pretty hyped up to play Whipsy and thought there was a lot more to this game than it delivered. Final words, I'm bummed about the length and depth of gameplay, but in the very least, Whipsy has a lot of potential for a bigger sequel. I would love to see that from Daniel A. Ramirez in the future, along with the help of Blowfish Studios. Mario influences are seen in enemies and their references are fun to see in another developer's style. At just under $6, you're paying a little over a buck per level, which is not that great. But if it means feeling the next Whipsy game, then I'm all for it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time.